What's going on guys? Welcome back to the fly tying tutorial. Today in this video we're going to be tying up a little midge. Hook I have in the vise right now is a Partridge Patriot Check Nymph number 14. I've actually recently started uh, tying some midge patterns on these and I really really like them. Um, I'm just tying a 14 for the purpose of this video so it's a little bit easier to see. But I usually fish these on a 16 and an 18. Thread we're going to be using UTC 70 denier. This is just purple. So we're going to start our thread right behind that eye. We're going to get a couple wraps in there before we cut out our tag end. It's like so. And the first material we're going to be tying in is the body part. And what I like to use for these is some flashaboo. This is some regular flashaboo. Um, I like this because it kind of has like a purple hue to it. So it looks really well with the rest of the fly. But uh, you can use whatever you like. If you use a mylar tinsel or whatever your favorite kind of flash material is, you can use that. Make some pretty cool uh, holographic and stuff now. So you can just play around with whatever you like. So I'm just going to tie this in. I got three strands here. And I'm not going to go too far down this. I like to keep the uh, the body part and this whole fly kind of small. Just like so. So what I'm going to do is grab this, try to flatten it out as best as I can. And I'm going to just start making some touching wraps up the body here. Just like so. And if you want, you can make a little bit of a taper here with, if you have enough tinsel. So once I get up to about an eye's length behind the eye, I'm just going to tie that off. Make sure that it's nice and tight here. Just like so. Then I actually just come in and just cut the rest of that flash out. Next material we're going to be tying in is the wing part. We're just going to be using some pearl colored crystal flash. And the easiest way I found how to do this is just get one strand. You're going to fold it in half. Then fold it in half again. Fold it in half again. Then fold it in half again. So you'll have four, four folds. And that's what it'll look like once it's done. Then what I'm going to do is actually just come with my scissors and just cut all these so they are even, just like so. Now I'm just going to tie that in. I just find this easier to tie it in just like this rather than trying to tie it in then cut out the, uh, the ends here. I just think it's a lot more cleaner. So I'm just going to tie this in. You want to try to keep these wraps under here as uh, smooth as possible for the hackle. So we're just going to come in and cut our wing. And it should be about to the back of the hook bend. Just like so. Next material we're going to be tying in is the hackle part. And I just have a piece of grizzly dry fly hackle here. Sized properly to the hook that I'm using. And again, I'm just trying to keep this ramp nice and flat um, for this hackle so it doesn't want to skip or anything. On this 514, I'm going to use a little bit of dubbing right here. Um, on my 18s, I don't use any dubbing, I just use thread. Then I will just wrap the hackle just down the thread. But for this, it's a little bit bigger, so um, I can add a little bit of dubbing without crowding it too much. So I'm just going to lightly put this on here. You don't need much. I'm just going to build a little head here. This wants to cooperate. Just like so. 
I'm going to grab this hackle. And you want the hackle to be facing towards the back, like so. So I'm going to take one wrap, one, two, put three in. I like to come up, then just tie it off. So I don't trap too many fibers in there. Just make sure that's nice and tight. Now I come in with my scissors and just cut that little tip out. Kind of clean up any of the ones that do get caught. Just like so. Now you come in with your whip finish tool. Throw a nice little four or five turn whip finish in there. Make sure it's nice and tight. You can cut out that little tag in. I'm just gonna clean, clean this up a bit here. Just like so. There you have it. Cool little midge pattern. You can time in all different kinds of colors. Time in this red color too. Works really well. Hopefully today's video guys, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. If you have any questions or anything like that about any of the flies or any of the materials, just drop it down in the comments and I will answer them. Thanks a lot again for watching. Have a good day.